let's take a brief tour of a finding aid. Here, we're looking at the finding aid for the George S. McGovern papers. This first screen tells us quite a lot, actually. Here, we see who the creator of the collection is, what the title is. These dates are the dates of the material, so their earliest material in the collection will be from 1939 and the latest from 1984. We also see the size of the collection, which in this case is quite big, more than 800 linear feet. The storage note is really important, particularly if you decide that you want to come here and look at these materials. Requests here will be delivered to Public Policy Papers MUD Reading Room. And if you click here, you'll see a lot more about how to get here, a map, and a little bit more information about this repository. Let's go back. As you keep looking down, you can see an abstract, which tells you more about what might be in here and whether you want to dig deeper. So, most of the navigation that happens for this finding aid is on the left. In the description tab, there's much more information about here in the scope and content note what you'll find in the collection, and down here in the collection creator biography, what the history of all this is, what sort of facts and historical context you might find. The collection history tells you about how this collection came to the library and what we did with it when we got it here. When you click on Access and Use, you'll find some important information about whether or not you'll have access to this material and whether there are restrictions for you using it. Click on Find More if you decide that this is really interesting and you want to find more that's like it or that this isn't quite right but there's something similar that you might want to find. We've listed subject terms and topics. So, for instance, if you want to find out about political campaigns, you can click here. And this will take you to every part of every collection that's been tagged as being about political campaigns. Let's go back. Now let's go to contents, and this is what's really in the collection. You can see that an archivist divided this up into groupings. The first grouping is early activities, then House of Representatives, etc. You can find the same information by clicking on these arrows. So let's dig in. Let's go to Campaigns for the United States Senate and President of the United States. This page will give you a very short essay about what you'll find in this series. And then when you go down, here's the opportunity to dig in deeper. So for instance, let's look at files related to the 1972 presidential campaign. And again, you have this similar extent statement. In this case, it's 79.24 linear feet, which again is quite a lot of material. And as you go down, there's the chance to dig even deeper. Let's look at the issues for the 1972 presidential campaign. And here, you get quite a bit of information. Let's say that you want to look at this in reverse alphabetical order. By clicking on title twice, you can see it reversed, or clicking on it again, you can see in alphabetical order. You can also put in chronological order by clicking on the date tab. And there you have earliest date to latest date. So, let's go back to our summary. If for some reason you don't think you'll have online access, or if you want to see the whole huge document all at once, you can always click on this button. That'll give you the downloaded finding aid as a PDF.